What's happening, gang? It's your boy Retro back again with another reaction video. Yeah, yeah. Today we got another huge update. It's now Trump's legal spokesperson, Alina Haba, back at it once more, bringing us more new evidence of corruption from that Judge Juan Merchant. You know, this is turning into a nightmare for him as everything is now backfiring. He's regretting, you know, allowing D. Alvin Bragg bringing about this charade case against Donald Trump and his circus of a court, guys. I'm excited to get into the update to see exactly what Alina Haba has discovered now. So we can get straight into the news and I'll get my thoughts on the back end, guys. So definitely stick around to the end. So I just get my thoughts on the back end. And also, YouTube push this video out definitely stick around until the end you guys but let's get straight to the news before we do that though make sure you guys hit that like button for me and also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey let's get into it y'all lawyer and legal spokesperson for former president trump alina haba it's good to see you again alina okay we've got news coming in today alina what's your reaction to president biden saying today that it's quote irresponsible to say that the new york trump trial and guilty verdict was rigged Plus, he said former President Trump had a chance to defend himself. What do you say to that? It's very convenient from the person that doesn't want the finger pointed at him because this was exactly what he had asked for and coordinated. I mean, are we really surprised? Let's be honest. He's deflecting. We knew this was happening. We knew he was ready to do a speech the minute a verdict came out. We knew that there was no surprise. We keep getting uh, anti-Trump political individuals in these courtrooms and that they're brought in blue states. There is no question about this, that the only person that's ir being irresponsible is the the man that has open borders and doesn't care about our country is going to the beach this weekend. Uh, our country is in a state of crisis. So I, I, I appreciate it. I'm not surprised by it, but uh, I don't respect it. It's, it's a ridiculous statement to make. You know, Alina, he's taking a victory lap. He's ignoring questions on, on this. And, you know, how can Trump's legal team appeal and defend against what they don't know what exact crime Trump was convicted for. The jury still did not indicate what exactly was the core underlying law broken behind the charge of influencing the election. Plus, the jury didn't have to be unanimous on it. I mean, isn't it easier to convict when you strip a defendant of their due process rights? Uh, it's very easy to reverse when you fail to identify what the crime is, when you fail to have them say that you have to select what the intent to cover up, what the scheme was. If you look at what Alvin Bragg said yesterday, I think it's most telling. He had his narrative set, and the truth was it was false. He said that he was guilty of trying to effectively steal an election in 2016, but that's not true. That is not what he was found guilty of by this jury. And Frank Frankly, that's what he was hoping the narrative would be, but they couldn't find a crime. So they gave them a, a slew of options to select from. And then they said, you're guilty of one of these four things. You don't have to decide which all unanimously, but you just have to say that there was some sort of intent to do some sort of crime. We don't know what the crime is, but by the way, that is the grounds for the appeal, along with the jury charges that were flawed, along with the fact that we couldn't get an expert in, along with the fact that we couldn't bring tax information in, even though they charged him with a tax crime, we were excluded and precluded from bringing that evidence in. The, the things we have on appeal are so voluminous, and I know they've been reported on. We'll be taking action on that right away. So we had experts on last night saying this is just, you know, a thing, you know, to get the, the statement out there, Trump's a convicted felon because they know they're going to get it overturned on appeal. Right. I mean, Harvey Weinstein's conviction was overturned by the New York Appeals Court, but that wasn't until four years later. Do you guys plan to go to as high as the Supreme Court? If we have to, we will. We have no problem with that. As you know, we've taken those matters that we think are incredibly important to validating and preserving the Constitution that our country was made on. Uh, there were incredible constitutional violations in this in this whole proceeding, including the current gag order that's on me, the president, and anybody that works for him. It's crazy. So, look, if we care about America, we have to fight for it. And his legal team is prepared to do so in whatever way we need to do. You know, show what Ellie Honig said, that this was a really a contortion and really a twist, a twisting of the the law here. Uh, it was an ill-conceived, unjustified mess, this case. You know, the critics are saying this is a political case. It would not have happened to anyone else in America if their name was not Trump. 
the danger now is the New York justice system is in the in the zone of having its integrity destroyed for political purposes. You know, this case is about Biden, way behind in the polls, abusing the legal system. That top DOJ official left his powerful number three job in Biden's DOJ to go after Trump in, the, in a local case with a pro-Biden job judge who donated to causes like Stop Republicans and a DA who literally campaigned campaign on getting Trump. Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't have said it better myself. Honestly, I couldn't have said it better myself. That's 100 percent true. Uh, I, I think it's a sad thing for our country, to be honest, when you see this kind of desperation, when you see an administration who should be focused on running the country, instead their focus is completely and totally on trying to take down President Trump because he has no uh, loyalty to anybody but America. He can't be bought. Everybody knows that. He put America first. Everybody knows that. And we've got a president that today smirked, smirked in front of the camera. I mean, that says it all. The smirk to me is more is louder than his words. It's louder than anything else. It's not louder than the White House logs that show that state constituent DAs and AGs are visiting the White House. All of this put together says one thing. We are in trouble and we need to act now. That is November. Uh, President Trump said it. November 5th will be the real verdict. And I stand beside that. Alina, you know, what about this? Trump lawyer Todd Blanche told Jesse Waters that prosecutors from DA Bragg's office we're meeting with witnesses and talking about reviving this case starting way back in 2018. You know, the DOJ and FEC had dropped it. And boom, when Trump announced he was running for re-election in 2022, then D.A. Bragg launches it. What do you think? I think it's obvious. First of all, it wasn't just D.A. Bragg. It was Cy Vance first. He said no. Cy Vance says no. D.A. Bragg says no. Mark Pomerantz, who they had come to handle this case, who is a friend of the Clintons and everybody else, comes in, is angry that they didn't bring the charges, leaves, writes a book about it, and they still don't bring it. When did they bring the charges? The minute President Trump said he was running for office. That's when they indicted him. This was past the statute of limitations. It is eight years old. All rules don't apply when you're Trump. For crying out loud, Hoko made a rule. She made a law, the Adult Survivors Act, just to go after Trump. We're seeing rules broken. We're seeing laws made to attack him. It is a complete affront to our judicial system. Yeah, it's not blind anymore, which is Lady Justice isn't blind, which is terrible. Lena Haba, thank you so no. much. Come back soon. Yeah. It's good to see you. Yo, there we have it. Legal spokesperson and attorney for Donald Trump, Lena Haba, going off on that victory lap that Biden just done after that conviction and that straight case, the Alvin Bragg Judge Juan Merchant, that Stormy Daniel Hush money case, we just seen Donald Trump be affected on the most weak foundation of a case no initial crime has ever been presented for this cover-up job that donald trump is said to have you know participated and taken part in um it just doesn't make sense we just seen alina haba going off on joe biden and that smirk that he done when asked the question about you know whether or not he was going to speak out or he's seen donald trump's verdict um or that is more than enough admission to guilt right there that smirk that we've seen we all know that biden's had his hands on this case throughout the whole thing you know we're seeing biden his administration his point man's dropping down in order to come and serve you know, on this case with D.A. Alvin Bragg. I mean, this is all no coincidence. We all know that this is brought about, constructed by the Biden administration. All these cases, you know, even though there were failed efforts, failed attempts, almost all these cases have traced back to Biden and the Biden administration, his White House in some way, you know, whether that be, you know, the justice visiting his White House, his administration, or having meetings, or that be one of his men actually working, you know, and serving on the case. I mean, Biden's been tangled up this whole mess. That's why I've been seeing so many people jump in ship, you know, He's been losing so much support because he's been silent in the midst of his, you know, number one opponent uh, being tackled, being, you know, bombarded with all these charade cases. There's a mountain of cases that Donald Trump has to overcome in order to even stand face to face with, you know, Joe Biden um, going after that spot as president later on this year. I mean, he can't even have a fair fight. But we just seen Trump's legal spokesperson, Alina Haba, going off, let us know that they will not stop here. They will not stop till they get to the top. You know, if we have to go to the highest appeals courts division, that is the Supreme Court, U.S. Supreme Court. Forth. They will do so. You know, Trump and his legal team are willing to, you know, fight this thing out until the end because we all know this was a hoax. Um, another one of those charade cases brought about by the Biden administration. There is no coincidence that this thing sat dead in the water for eight years before being you know, revived by D. Alvin Bragg. This is a whole Frankenstein case. It should have never been brought about. This little weak and shaky foundation, this case that 
didn't stand a chance. We're seeing is the present day Nelson Mandela effect for Donald Trump. If they slap them cuffs on Donald Trump, you know, send him to jail. Judge Murchon is going to make the worst mistake of his life. He's going to let Donald Trump in just by giving him that sentence going to jail. Uh, because you know, these cases have done what they had to do. You know, they brought so much support, so much attention to Donald Trump. That we've definitely got all eyes on Trump, his corner right now, all the cases that he is facing, you know, the mountain of cases. Um, if they slap those cuffs on him, say that, you know, he's guilty, he needs to go serve prison time, it's over, guys. He's getting elected in later on this year. Joe Biden doesn't stand one chance, no matter what he says in the debate, no matter what he says, Trump is done. I mean, if they slap those cuffs on him, I think it may be done, guys. Definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts, though. Does these guilty convictions, you know, change the taste or the tone of Donald Trump's name in your ears and mouth? Definitely let me know what you guys are thinking in the comment section below. How are you feeling? Also, make sure you guys hit that share button and share this out to as many Facebook friends as possible you guys share the truth also make sure you guys hit that like button it doesn't cost one thing hit that like button for your boy and also hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to the truth hop aboard for the journey i'll catch you guys on the next one we got